Hello, I'm Jason from the Deeper Network, and welcome to AdamOS 2.0. In this video, we're going to look at... Once you log into your device, head over to DPN and then Mode. You can route your device into three different methods. Smart Route, which will access multiple locations at the same time. Full Route, which will tunnel all of your traffic to one location. Or DPN Disabled, which will mean you will only use your local network. In Smart Route, you have the ability to choose a backup tunnel. That means that if any of the tunnels that you have selected go to zero, your backup tunnel will be selected. Full Route has the ability to use the Kill Switch. Kill Switch will make sure that no local traffic will be leaked if the tunnels ever go to zero. So if I'm routing to South Korea and I go to zero for a second before it connects to a new tunnel, the Kill Switch will disable my local internet and make sure that the only internet that is available is Korea once it comes back online. DPN disabled just means that there will be zero DPN activity, which means no encryption, and you will only use your local network. The Tunnel tab is very easy to understand. Once you open this page, you will see all of the countries that you are currently connected to and how many active nodes that you're connected to at one time. Remember, each country can have up to eight nodes. If you want to add a country, you can select a region, select a country, and then click Add. Or you can just type in search for the specific country that you want and then click Add. Every new addition will end up at the bottom of the screen. If you find that your connections are a bit slow and you want to refresh, click the refresh button and you will be given new tunnels. The node selection mode is a little bit more detailed, so check the link in the description below and you can see a very detailed video on what the node selection mode means. Smart Rules is a further way to customize your device. The Custom Domain tab is a way to individually route any website that is not handled by App Relocator. So pick a website and then you can pick a location and then click Add. And that website will always access the selected location. You can also make sure that some websites never access the DPN. This is where you'll set them in the Direct Route list. Anything set in the Direct Route will never access the DPN and always use your local network. The same rules apply for custom IP. Some websites and applications or services only operate via IP addresses, and you can route those any location that you want. Remember, these are outside IP addresses and not your local network. And the same rules apply for the direct IP list. If you do not want the IP to access the DPN, you set that in the direct IP list. Lastly is query. This is a very simple way to check where you have routed previously input custom domain configurations. So if I wanted to check where exactly I routed Google, because maybe I forgot, I can just type search, I routed to US West, everything is okay. The DPN tab is very powerful and very customizable. You can route in many locations at the same time, or you can just send everything very simply to one location. The choice is up to you. Make sure you're subscribed to follow up on all of the new features of AdamOS 2.0 and the Deeper Network. Deeper Network. Of the users. By the users. For the users.